Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Lisa and every single month I do beauty slash jewelry slash, I don't know, whatever else I am reviewing that month. But this month we are doing it for the month of May. As usual, I'm gonna start with jewelry, then going on to skincare. And I have actually a lot of makeup this month. If you guys are regular watchers of the video, I'm gonna apologize for the month of May. I haven't been posting on YouTube a lot I feel like there's going to be the next vlog that's going to be explaining exactly what's been going on this month I just haven't mentally been stable which you guys will hear about in the next vlog but anyway, without further ado, let's get started on today's video. So before I go into jewelry, I do want to remind you guys I have 10% off of all of my jewelry products. So if you are a first time customer, make sure you use my link down below and the discount will be automatically applied. Okay, so starting with my usual category of jewelry, I'm going to start off by reviewing this chain right here. This one's by Majuri. This one right here is in the length of 20 to 22 inches and this is in solid gold. This has been such a game changer for me because as you guys know a lot of my longer chains are all gold vermeil So I have to take it off every single night. This is my first very long chain You guys are already familiar with the pendant from last month This is the evil eye pendant and the evil eye pendant basically just symbolizes, you know Like I don't know pushing the evil away or pushing bad things away So ever since I got this chain this month, I haven't even taken this necklace off. I even played volume on Monday and it was not just chill volleyball I felt like it was actually kind of intense and I kept my necklace on and everything was still good I absolutely love this I haven't taken this off at all highly recommend having a long solid gold chain so once again the length is 20 to 22 inches the next item that I wanted to finally review officially is as you guys know if you guys have been following for a while I got my third piercing all the way back in February and it was supposed to take about six to eight months to heal I just kept on getting infections in my ear at one point this is so gross but I had the biggest like pus circular thing growing in the back of my ear. I didn't even realize I was like feeling it at first it started feeling like a pimple then it grew larger and larger. I had to pop it. It was absolutely disgusting. Anyway, it is finally healed so I finally changed my earrings. You can see here it's the beaded earrings. It's so 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 cute. I finally was able to change it. I haven't been able to add anything else on it because I still want to be able to just keep these ones on for a very long time until the lack of inflammation stays. But yeah, those are the two majority products of this month and I absolutely love them. If you guys are also interested in other items that I have from Madrid, you can check out my other YouTube videos or you can even check out my website lisaway.com slash Madrid and you will see all the products in there and the code is also embedded in the links but you can also check out all of these Madrid videos that I have made as well for you guys to see. Going on to skincare. Once again I'm going to go in the order of my routine. So this month I tried a new brand. This is actually in Sephora but it is a brand called Shani Darden. This is named after the person, clearly. So I have two products I want to review by her. The first one is the Cleansing Serum. So I've been using this every single time I have been in the shower. This is my shower cleanser. I really like this cleanser for a couple of reasons. Number one, I can use it just by using the cleanser. Number two, I can use it with my Foreos. I really like that I'm able to use it interchangeably. And the reason why that matters is because some cleansers, trust me, do not work with your Foreo because it doesn't lather. But this one also doesn't and lather too much which is why I really like it it's just a really great in between if you wanted to use it with your foreo but it's also quite gentle if you just use it with your hands another thing that I actually read on the Sephora review from other people is that a lot of people use it to take off their makeup as you guys may or may not know also what is happening to my voice Anyway, as you guys may or may not know, I'm a huge double cleanse person. I actually usually like to use the cleansing oil. So personally, I haven't used this to take off my makeup. Although tonight, I actually might try. I don't know. We'll see. But this month, that's not how I reviewed it. But as a cleanser in general, it's been really good. So if you guys want to try that for this product, you are also free to try that because apparently a lot of people did it and it works really well. A lot of people have also said that this is their holy grail um, cleanser as well. This isn't a one-time thing. I do like to read reviews because 
guys if you guys remember from my last review of the Lancome products they were so expensive but so effective and I was like am I delusional is this like a placebo effect I always like to see like what other people are saying as well just to know that like I'm not crazy but yeah so my review is that it's just a very good overall cleanser I think that if you're also like very new to skincare or if you're like really iffy about what skincare to use I would definitely start off with this cleanser as well this is one of those that I would put in that category the one thing I will say though is that other people reviewed it and said that it's not great for sensitive skin I don't have really sensitive skin so I didn't find that effects but that is some of the reviews that was being mentioned online so take it with a grain of salt. The next product I want to review by them is their retinol. So this is the retinol that I have been using this month. I actually really like this retinol because I feel like it's not so much like a micro retinol like some of the other ones that I've tried out. If you guys remember, I reviewed the Ren retinol and also obviously the classic Kiehl's micro dosing one. All of those are very, very small percentages of retinol. So you are safe to use it every single day, morning, and night with regular retinol concentrate you have to start off two times a week to build your skin's resilience because it's a very strong chemical peel but you you should start incorporating it especially if you're kind of like my age and above or even mid-20s because um this is when you start your anti-aging routine i personally feel like the skin pseudocles retinol that i reviewed a while back that one was really strong if you you know kind of like don't use sunscreen or whatever you could feel that chemical burn that people are scared of when it comes to retinol but with this one I feel like this is a very good in-between it's not as strong as the skin pseudocles but it's not as light as the micro dosing stuff if you're wanting to try a retinol concentrate I would definitely try this out if you're also scared of the whole like strong chemical like stuff like that I would definitely try this out the next product that I have been using and loving this month is the Laneige eye cream as you guys know I put this on Instagram Laneige did a whole revamp of their products as y'all can see here and this actually confused me in the beginning because I tried one of their travel size products and loved it then went on their website to try to find it and I could not find this product and it turns out it's not that it didn't exist it's just that the product packaging just completely changed so for a moisturizer this is the one I used I tried this last night for the very first time this is the Laneige water bank moisture cream so their product packaging is super cute now it's like just this like I don't know very like cutesy color this is the eye cream that I've been using this month I really really like it this is the eye cream as you can see I'm already halfway done I'm also going to be putting this in the gateway skincare category you know how people say there's like a gateway drug it's like or alcohol or whatever it's like when you try this type of alcohol and it literally just like launches you into whatever not that I'm speaking from experience but I feel like this is like the skincare stuff so when it comes to these two products it's like very great great introductory products that like it's like an oldie but a goodie even if you're a seasoned skincare person you're probably going to like it but it's like with all the skincare newbies you want to give them the product that you know is just like it's not like a hit or miss or like you know it's not like only liked by enthusiasts or whatever you know so I feel like this and that I'm, I'm actually gonna coin this term if if you will I feel like this is like a very like gateway skincare product especially for eye cream so if you are a skincare newbie um you can check out this eye cream it's very good I do not foresee anyone with complaints actually I think the only possible complaint is if you are someone who fights for unfragranted items then this one's not for you because yeah this one's fragranted but otherwise a very much gateway skincare product and you know what even within the gateway skincare product category i feel like there are people who prefer scents versus people who actually do not usually the people who don't prefer scents are just people who can't have scents on their skin for me personally because i don't have sensitive skin i prefer when my skincare smells good i know it's better if it doesn't have fragrance but I prefer scents because I don't know I just I like smelling good so and I like going to bed with scents so okay the last skincare product I have for you guys is the it cosmetics confidence in your beauty sleeve skin transforming pillow cream that is a mouthful this is what the product looks like and I'm gonna show you the inside I already put this on TikTok 
actually, I put this nighttime routine on TikTok and that video, it was a rant, somehow went viral. As I'm speaking, we're sitting at 400,000 views right now. Um, anyway, so a bunch of people on TikTok saw me use this product. This is the It Cosmetics Night Cream. This texture is very interesting. So this is not a gateway skincare product by all means. And the reason is because the texture, hoping you guys can see this, is extremely interesting. It is like jelly if you use skincare products for example with this eye cream you can see where my finger has left off right with this a cosmetics texture it is such a watery texture and it's like more gel like overnight every time i open this bottle the texture becomes flat because it evens itself out how does this impact us well I feel like for people, like I said, if you are the type of person who do not like heavy creams going to bed and you like something a little bit more lightweight, however hydrating, then this would be in this category because this is so watery. I can see this being also very great for men. The packaging is also quite masculine actually. So I think that this is something that you could get for your boyfriend or brother or dad, whatever. The males in your life, I feel like would potentially really like this. Usually with guys, I like to give them creams, especially back when I had a guy. I usually like to give them creams that are more water-based because I feel like guys just complain a lot, especially when it becomes a little too lotion-y. So this is a really good one for that. Another good one is the Laneige water cream. That's always an oldie and a goodie. Okay, moving on to makeup. Also going to go in the order of my makeup routine. The first one I have been loving this month and also the product that I'm wearing is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow. And this one has an SPF of 40. This is what the product looks like. So It Cosmetics actually started making a CC cream that is a little bit lighter than their OG one. So the OG one that everyone loves went viral, etc. This is basically another rendition of that CC cream, but it is a lighter formula. As much as I love their OG CC cream, as you guys know, I was trying to get off liquid foundation and just very heavy coverage stuff. So that one is a very heavy coverage coverage which I started to not use well not just from it cosmetics but just heavy coverage foundations in general and started only using the um, Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter but the reason why um, I started transitioning to this product this month is actually because it is now summer. I've been trying to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury, but the thing is because I'm sweating so much easier, I'm becoming oily so much easier. If you guys haven't used that product, it gives you a really nice glow, but if you're already sweating, if you're already like getting oily or whatever it is, it just makes you look really greasy. So this month I was like, okay, I need to try another product because because it is just not it like within one hour I would start looking extremely greasy because it's so hot outside now in Toronto I started using this product and this is actually amazing because first of all it is still quite lightweight obviously it's heavier than the flawless filter because the flawless filter isn't even meant to be a foundation it's supposed to be a primer or whatever so this one is such a great in between and also it because it has SPF so it's great for like a two-in-one if you're too lazy to apply sunscreen and stuff like that the next product I want to review are some face products if you guys didn't check out my Instagram collaboration with benefit you definitely should because it was such a pinch me moment I've been reviewing their products for so long and now I get to work with them which is amazing they actually just launched their new face product I got it early because of the collaboration I got to test it out for a while and then got the video posted in preparation for Asian Heritage Month which was in the month of May the new product First of all, there are 12 shades of blush and their new packaging is a lot thinner now Which is amazing for traveling because I think they realized that before they would leave the space for the brush But nobody was really using that space for the brush anyway. So now it's a lot thinner my two favorite Colors have been Shelly and Peachin and these are the two colors that I mix together and put on my cheeks And that is what I'm wearing today by the way And I also wear the highlighter the highlighter is also from benefit. It is the Dandy Lion Twinkle. I forgot to grab it from my desk, but my entire face and also the bronzer is all benefit. This is the Hula bronzer, which I've reviewed before. So just the packaging has changed for that, but everything is by benefit that is on my face. But I really, really like mixing colors as you guys know. So this combination is Shelly and 
Pigeon. The next item that also I collaborated this month is the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. You guys, this mascara, if you are Asian and you're watching this, you need to have this. Even if you're not Asian, obviously this is for everybody but like the reason why i'm targeting asians besides the fact that i'm also asian right i'm just kidding obviously i'm asian the reason why i'm targeting asians is because asians compared to every other race tend to have shorter lashes tend to have hooded eyelids because of our monolids because the way this part of our face is structured this product let me tell you is so precise it really really accommodates for our eyes let me just show you i can't even see right now because my camera is so far but i'm gonna attempt to show you it is so thin and the thing is i don't think this mascara is new i believe i have heard people use the word telescopic mascara for a really long time but this time they were just like we really want you to promote this for mother's day so they sent it to me i tested it out whatever i was like give me a lot of time to test this out so i can have actual things to say about it turns out i love it like this is such an oldie but a goodie and such a great drugstore mascara but if there's a waterproof version you know i'm gonna get on top of that because all my favorite mascaras always like they never have a waterproof version until like much later but since this one has been around for a while i'm hoping this one has a waterproof version the next two items that i want to also tell you guys about is the benefit extreme precision liner this is also the eyeliner that i'm wearing today and have been wearing all month this is what it looks like i have two because one is brown and one is black if you guys are going for the clean girl makeup and want brown eyeliner look no further because i'm gonna just draw it for you you know let me tell you this lives up to the name it is extremely precise okay i'm gonna draw it for you and show you keep in mind i just put on lotion so i don't know if it's gonna dilute like it is so thin okay sorry it's just really hard for me to draw but you get you get what i'm saying if you guys see the tip of this black liner it is so so sharp it's also really good for long wears i feel like it hasn't really come off so if you guys are looking for a good and precise eyeliner look no further because i tried it this month i love it i love it also don't be mistaken that a lot of these items are gifted because obviously with the nature of this job if i review a product every month i'm not going to spend money every single month buying things to review i would become broke it is very helpful that companies just send me their new launches so i can just review it and then give you guys my feedback and then that way i have more products to show you guys the next item this is not a review okay because i just wore it for the first time today for this video so it's not a review a lot of people always ask me what color i'm wearing whenever i do these videos so the lipstick that i'm wearing today is the one by charlotte tilbury and this is in the color spice bloom this is in their lucky lips collection i actually saw tori webster i don't know if you guys know her but i saw her at an event and i saw the lipstick that she was wearing and i was like i love that texture it looks like half like a lipstick but half like liquid lip and i was like what is that lipstick and she's like it's the charlotte tilbury lucky lips and i was like perfect they sent me that i just haven't tried it yet so ever since i saw her with it i'm now determined to try it it looks so good on her and i think i don't know i think i really like it too this is just the first time i usually like to review lipsticks a little bit longer obviously because i want to know how long it lasts if it's extremely drying so since it's only been like an hour i can't tell you any of those things but the color is this lipstick so if you want to know how well this product performs then stay tuned for next month yeah anyway this is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hopefully will be more consistent with youtube this month i am feeling a lot better so i'm hoping the schedule will be right back i'm also traveling less now i actually want all of my content hopefully for this summer to be in canada but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye